Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the new Reaper tips number 7. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my Reaper layout and also the theme I use. So I figured it would be cool to show you in a video how it works and how to set this up. Ok so first of all I need to credit my good friend Rob and Heath for creating this amazing layout. The cool thing about this layout is that depending on the track that you got selected it's gonna show you a little track inspector to the left side. And in here you can control pretty much everything about the track, like the name, the panning, all the plugins, the routing, and the fader too, and all the sends, returns, everything is here. And that's awesome because it gives you a lot of control over your tracks, especially if you're recording or just arranging. And the theme that I usually use was made by my good friend Ed Sram. And if you guys want to try it out, I'm going to put the link in the description below. So now I'm going to show you how to set up a layout like this. Before doing all of this, you need to save your current layout using screen sets. So I'm gonna explain real quick how to use them, but if you're already familiar with them, you can go ahead and skip to this timestamp. Basically, screen sets allow you to change your overall layout to anything that you want. For example, I can just change from my arranging layout, to my video editing layout, to my mixing layout, and so on. So let's say that you like your tracks here, your mids are here, and you wanna save it like this. You're gonna go to the view menu, and select screen sets layout. Then, in this window, you can save up to 10 different layouts. You can simply select the first one and select save. And then just put a name on it. And now let's say that you want your mixer here and you want a toolbar to the left and also a toolbar on the top, and also a toolbar on the bottom. And you want to save this layout too, to another one. You can just simply select the next one and click save and just put a name on it. Then you can easily alternate between your different layouts and also use the shortcuts for it. And if you want to edit the shortcuts, you can press here and put the shortcuts that you want. So now that you know how cool screen sets are, I'm going to show you the track inspector thing. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to the screen sets and save your current layout. Then you're going to press view and show the mixer. Click and drag this tab on the mixer to the left until you see this little shadow right here. And just drop it there. Then after that, you're going to open this a little bit and just make a few tracks. When you're here, you're gonna right click on the master track and disable show multiple rows of tracks when size permits. Then you're gonna right click, master track and show in Docker. And it's gonna show you your master track right here. And you can just drag this line there and click and drag this little tab to the right. And now you're gonna drag this up and you're gonna have a master fader on the right side of your screen now. Now you're gonna go again to the view menu and go to screen sets layout. Then go to the tab that says layout. In here you're gonna right click where it says mixer panel and it's gonna show you all of the type of bars that you can use for your mixer panel. For this one I'm gonna recommend using the standard sidebar, which is the one I use. And now you can see that your mixer panel changed. And that should work, now you're gonna have a sidebar for each of your tracks. And on top of that you're gonna have the master fader right here. And now the final step again is going to the view menu and going to the screen sets, then go to windows, Select the second slot, press save, and just give it a name. And now you can go back and forth between your new layout and your old layout. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you like it, you can subscribe for more stuff like this. So I'll see you next time.